Hello, this is Paper Hero. Welcome to a super quick let's play we're going to do. This is Izbot, or IZBot, I'm not entirely sure. Anyway, this is a game that came out near the end of last year, actually, pretty recently. It's kind of, um, it's in the vein of Super Meat Boy and games like that, but it's got its own unique physics and style, and it's actually quite interesting. There's a collectible in every single stage. I've gotten them all, but uh, I'm going to try and get them again. Anyway, this should be one video. Robots have finally overcome the tyranny of organic enslavement by defeating the evil prime leader, Bedlor. Bedlor. But Bedlor has escaped and is unleashing an ever-evolving string of squishy organic creations. It's up to our hero, IZBot, to save the day and destroy the organic infestation once and for all. That was very quick. Anyway, I can uh, move with the left stick, I guess. Tap A, hold it for a bigger jump, and I can do a double jump. Rare materials in every stage. Hard to get him. This game's actually got uh, some good humor to it in some places. I can jump on those guys. Um, this is a shield that protects me from organic enemies. Yeah, if I were to highlight the uh, game on my tab, it would it'd call it the um, the greatest game since E.T., I think. Which was a fantastic game, by the way. I don't know if I mentioned, I probably passed a thing that says I can sprint by holding the button, which is what I'm doing. Anyway, it's just a bunch of these little levels like this. They're, uh... Oh, I thought the guy was going to fall off. That guy did, though. Um, very, very short levels. There's, They're constantly introducing new mechanics as you go through them. We've already seen... Uh, You know, blocks that can it'll disappear if you stand on them. Two different types of enemies. And three types of enemies now, these little fish things that are a little hard to jump on. On one eight already. Ooh! And our first death. You can actually see how many times I've died during my own uh, personal play of this game, like the top left. However many of these uh, IZ bots I go through. Something else to note is that uh, the wall jump is actually a better jump than the normal jump. Very useful for later levels especially. Not really going for any records here or anything. It's not really my type of thing, but uh, it's fun to be able to see like the global high scores and uh, your personal bests and whatnot. It's kind of the charm to this game. Can I do? It? There we go. Okay. It's actually really, really hard to choose where you want to land if you're sprinting, which is why you don't need to hold the sprint button at all times. Oh, I didn't want to bounce off that guy. That's unfortunate. What's the point of that guy down there? Oh well. I won't worry too much about it. Oh, I just like how this guy, the, the robot, the is bot. Just looks so uh, fun, and uh, I don't know, just the way he moves. Kind of like he's not made out of metal, but some sort of elastic material or something. The sound effects are really fun. The music, while a little repetitive, is uh, 
mean, it's only repetitive because it doesn't change very often. We're already on 114, though. New song every area. That was not a wall I could jump on. Um, but the sound effects are really nice. The uh, music is charming, and don't want to hit one of those missiles. You can't really jump off of them. I think so far we've gotten every material. I don't know if I'm going to really try to get them all, but uh, for now I am. Oh, I'm too scared. There we go. Really didn't have to be that cautious. These bats, new enemies. They're a little tedious. Oh, why did I do that? I didn't think that it would um, do something. kind of turned around faster than I expected it to. Oh, nope, I want that. The hard to get em, I think it's what it's called. Oh, here it's easy to get. I made that look easy. Oh, this part though. Um... Nope, I thought I had my jump still. You don't get him back after killing an enemy. I was too scared. There we are, that's how you're supposed to do it. Um, as I said about the stronger jump though, when you go off a wall, it's almost a little too strong sometimes. At least for case of, uh, surviving. Really kicks you off the wall. Nope. I'm just doing so well. Um, really concentrating. That's why I'm not talking as much. There I wasn't. Wait for it this time. First boss. Area 2 out of, I want to say 3, so already almost halfway, third of the way there. These spikes come up from the ground. No new enemies yet. I don't know if there are any more, actually. We've seen quite a variety already, but new obstacles for sure will definitely start showing up, like those spikes. Seeing a lot of these disappearing blocks. I like these games. They're really, um, I don't know, it depends. There's kind of a nice balance here of, um, you know, really, really frustrating, except at the same time, just really, um, laid back. Ooh, that shield does not help you in spikes. Or shuriken things. It is also fun to just challenge yourself, you know, with these, uh... It feels good. It feels really rewarding when you, um... do something well, and it feels... a little disappointing when you don't do things right, but, um, I guess the rewarding feeling is, uh, what brings me back to games like these. Okay, this is just embarrassing.
the challenge in this game is, um... I don't know, it's got a weird difficulty spike. For the most part, the third area is the hardest, but there's some stages in this one, like, uh, like this part, for example, which is just a tad more difficult than I would like it. No, I didn't even land there. Um, at least the uh, hard to get -um is pretty easy to get. Sadly, this shield is... Uh, not entirely useful. I'm trying to think of what this shield reminds me of. Um, I don't know, like you know, in those games, it just you get a power up and stuff. It it helps you against the stuff that you don't have trouble with, like these normal enemies. But uh, it's not actually helpful against the stuff that kills you. It's like thinking a Mega Man game, you know, you get some sort of awesome shield and then you just fall in a pit. I don't know what Mega Man game you get an awesome shield in, but uh, I would like to play that game. I didn't get a jump back there. And then the rest of the video is this until I rage quit. doing so well. Um, I think I've got a new strategy, though, with that, uh, the bottom side of this cliff area. For want of a better way to describe it. Yeah, just don't, just don't slide down fast enough. If I do have one complaint about how, uh, IZBot controls, it's that, uh, He's got a really hard time sliding down these walls sometimes. Sometimes he doesn't. It's weird. I don't I don't know. I don't know if there's some sort of mechanic in control of that or I didn't have the shield there, so I couldn't have just done that. I'm caring less and less about the shield, which is ending up in my detriment. I cannot believe I'm still on the stage. How many of these uh, clone things have I robots have I gone through this mission, I wonder, for this try. I know I didn't take this long on my first try. Just disappointing. Already at 28. Bet I was closer to 5 when I started here. This does get you a nice chance or a nice chance for me to look at the background and stuff. It's quite detailed, actually. It's very interesting. Multiple layers and everything. It's always a nice touch. It doesn't take away, either, because it's so faded. Whoever did it definitely knew what they were doing. This all looks pretty nice, actually. Made pretty recent, too. Doing the same thing too. Maybe if I actually time it with the spikes, how long do those stay out? A pretty long time, actually. There we are. I just needed to do that. A little embarrassing, but I finished the level. Can't complain there. These lasers will kill you. To everyone's surprise, I'm sure. Oh, there we are. Rare mineral. I don't know if I should go up this way. Let's well, not actually. 
Oh, I don't I don't like this part. Oh, memory. No! Need to save that jump. Memory serves, I did try this one a lot, yeah. Um, I'm on clone 17 already, robot 17 already. That's tough. At least I'm not dying to the lasers anymore. These weird spike things, though, I'm definitely gonna die a lot to, though. There we are. Okay, that was a lot easier than... A lot harder than it should have been. It should have been fairly easy. What is this? Oh. Can I get through both? Can. Okay, that's important. All right. I think the first time I got to this spot. I tried actually uh, going against the uh, rotation of this. Did not end well. I'm not really record breaking time on this one, but uh, at least it was safe. the sprint button gets you killed. Not you, it just gets me killed. Alright. Ooh, that was a little disorienting. Here's a fun thing, I can uh, double jump after running off of a, um, I get to save both my jumps if I run off of a ledge. Very nice. That'll come in useful later, I think. These ice blocks? Where are they? It's getting a little tedious. Um, I think I'm gonna go this way anyways. Yes, I do. No problem. No good time either, but you know. I could do better than that. Um, no, I shouldn't do better than that. Um, let's just get up here and kill this guy. Home free, alright. At least that would be if uh, this didn't happen. Um, there we are. Getting close to the boss, we're on 232. And then we'll run straight into the slime. So there's a slime enemy and a slime boss. That means the second boss is going to be a crab, right? I think. No, it's not. Levels are getting a little longer in some aspects. Can I 
go over that. I want to try. Oh, come on, I jumped. I thought I jumped. I tried to. Oh, I just ran into that wall. Good thing that the uh, spike there was not actually harmful. That's what I meant to do, but I didn't because I'm a screw up. The crap started going as soon as I landed there. Well, we're over halfway to uh, completing the game now. Is this is funny looking. Uh -huh. I will have this done in an hour. Under an hour. Take it nice and slow. Oh, I nearly died there. That was a mistake. At least you got the material, right? Not a lot left of this. Let's go up and over and do things the hard way, the dangerous way. Speaking of dangerous... Oh, by the way, those little, uh... Emu looking things do shoot projectiles at you, they're quite dangerous. I don't want to do this. Should take that a little differently. Like that. That's how I meant to do it. That robot was just silly. Thought I made it on the ledge there. Oh, I almost looked competent for a second. Couldn't have that, could we? At least it's a fairly easy level compared to other things. There we are, almost at the part where I died foolishly. And the end of the level, of course. I think I just got a best time for myself. No, oh, I wanted to go under that. I mean, I'm sure you knew that. I can walk off the ledge, by the way, and get both my jumps, which is uh, certainly a neat trick. I don't want to jump into that one. Um, oh, the bats have arrived. These things are a little annoying. If you try and jump at them at the, um, the same level, they're moving to you at all times, basically. So uh, they'll move up into you. Oh, that's one of the demo things. Anyway, so like if you're trying to jump onto them at the same level, they'll move up, and then you'll end up bumping into them and dying. Rather annoying, but um, it just means you have to aim a little better. I was like, not die. I was wrong.
only got five deaths, I just got two of them. So, uh... That tells me a bit about how I didn't do that before. Or that. Thought this was going to be an easier level. Whatever you do, don't stop. Ever. Alright, here we are. Jump right into the flamethrower of death. Disappointing. Oh. Stop doing that. It's a rather easy attack to dodge as long as you're trying to dodge it instead of aggressing towards him. The second his uh, his paw actually touches the, the ground there with his charge. He'll actually kill you upon contact, so I'm staying on there as long as I can. Well, welcome to the third and final area. Hasn't been a half hour yet, so uh, making great time. Of course, this is when things really peed up. I'm sure there is 20 stages in this area, but I'm not 100% sure, so... Maybe it'll just be ten. Either way, they're, um... A little longer, so this could take a while. Still. Well, I did the jump, I just... Did it poorly. Actually, have a lot of deaths on this stage, which is unusual to me. It, it looks like an easier one. I guess I spent a lot of time doing what I'm doing now, trying to get the uh, hard to get him. I keep thinking about Mega Man Zero, where you. Stay right next to the wall when you jump off it, pretty much. Um, it's not really a thing, like, if I have my dash held or not, it's the same distance, actually. That's dash, that's no dash. Just go over all of it. thought I went the wrong way, but uh, I guess I went the right way for what I wanted. Let's get rid of those bats though so they don't actually show up again. thought that hit me. I'm glad it didn't, but... Properly. Yeah, progress is real slow now. I was not holding the sprint button. Kill you, cause he moves. Of course. How do I do this? Go down, of course. Didn't see that one coming. This is not where I go down, though. I 
So what I ended up trying to do there was uh, I tried to land on the upper part of there where I could actually land and then jump, but I was a little too close to the edge, I guess. And jump right here, and that's what I meant to do. Um, let's just go through here. I think I went the wrong way for what I want. I didn't. This is just a really, really long roundabout level. Perfect. I killed it at least. I don't need that, even for the annoying emu. Just do that. There are bats though. So we've decided I need this. That is tricky. I'm assuming that's the hardest part of the stage though, because most of our deaths have happened already. They're from this playthrough, so. Which is the best judge of difficulty. I implicitly trust a um, worse version of me. That was amazing how that actually worked. Um, yeah, I implicitly trust a less experienced version of me to determine whether I should die on something or not. This one I have no deaths on, so it must have been easy. Pretty soon we're actually going to get a new mechanic. And I'm not talking about someone to fix stuff, I'm talking about a... Um, that was a bad joke. I apologize for that. Someone could have missed that. Ooh, I died here before. Um, well, we'll see what I'm talking about real soon. Three forty-six is the stage we're on, and those are different. Those kill you. It's definitely give me a shovel knight vibe. I think uh, plague knight stage. Of course, in this game you run a little faster, so I'm not really actually scared of them. I do like it when games give you this, uh... I don't know, they give you a very good reason to get moving. Those are spikes below me. Missiles. How I miss them. The missiles. No! Oh. 
didn't think I was going to be able to make that anyways. How did I do this last time? I was really good about it. Let's just do it the safe way. Get rid of the baths. Use that one for more lift. Got a change in the background at stage 50, the halfway point. Ooh, should have let go of sprint. So it's definitely an adorable little game. I enjoyed it, and um, if you're into these kind of games, you could totally check it out. I think it's only on Steam. And I got my little plug out of the way. Um, yeah, it's it's definitely a lot of fun, though. My major complaint is that it's just a little short. My other complaint is what that goof, whatever that goofy frog thing is in the background. Don't know if you guys saw it there, but I was insulted by it. Another thing that kind of bugs me about this game, a really, really small thing, is that whenever you spawn, you actually start a, you know, a couple of pixels in the air, one or two. Which is annoying because if you're trying to, you know, do a running jump right off the bat, you end up doing your second jump. Which we all know is, uh, no good. Oh, here's the thing I was talking about. Oh, yep. Anyway, these give you your jumps back. Both of them. Kinda make funny noises, too. How did I go about doing this before? There's a... I think I have to use the wall. There's some sort of strategy. Do I use this one right here? Or... I know what I do, okay. And then he was wrong. For all of time. I'm doing something wrong, and it's quite apparent. Do I need a bigger running jump? I think. That's what it was. I figured it out. I'm dumb. I have to run off of the platform. And then do my jumps. Still a close thing. That was a case of my, um, my A button having issues. I was hitting it. I promise you that. I was hitting it a lot. Uh, 
I bet the item's here. Oh, oh that, was, that spike pit was just there for that. Um, perfect. I was avoiding the bat, because if I bounced on that, I'm sure I would have died. Again, again, I'm just trying to beat the missiles, but I'm just falling for the game's trap, the cleverly laid out trap. I've died 41 times on this stage. I wonder why. I just love the way he goes up, though. Time's the charm. That's where the missiles are. That's what I was trying to beat. You know what these, uh... These extra jumps make me think of is, uh, Klonoa. I'm not even talking the ones for the, the PlayStation. For the Wii, I'm talking the uh, Game Boy Advance Klonoa games. They're puzzle games, actually. Um, don't know if anyone's really familiar with those, but... I loved playing them when I was a kid, and I still love them to this day. They're really interesting, and... Um, well, they have a really terrible difficulty curve, but... Um, they get pretty hard. It starts super easy, though. But those jump things just make me think of them because um, that's not how I do this. I've got to go like this and then I hide here. Perfect. Or not so perfect. Um, So I think I want to do this by doing my old trick. There we are. No, oh, I was this close. Hmm. Either I think I learned how to aim, or I didn't dodge. around prediction. Let's wait on it. Let's, let's not be impatient. Impatience does that. No, we're actually getting really close to the end of the game, though. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I certainly... Enjoyed parts. Only a little bitter about a few stages. Like this one. I almost died to a slime. Only a handful more stages. Take this as slow as I need to. This stage design for uh, this one just feels a little off center. I don't really know what they're going for for it, but uh, probably a really hard one to get a good time on, maybe.
I don't like the look of this. Nice thing is you can just walk on these. They're not really a danger to you. Those are, though. I should just go over it. The slightest turning around, though, will cause death. persevere. If our name isn't... is, but... I'm not apologizing for that one. Why do things the hard way when I don't have to? Like that way, that's not the, the easy way. That's also death. Coincidentally. Spectacular! Okay, uh, this is not representative of, uh, usual gameplay. This is a nightmare. And then Paper Hero forgot how to play. Just press the control stick buttons! Or the control, the D-pad, I think. The, yes, something like that. Press one of the buttons. That's all I have to do. I did it again. This game is a lot harder than I'm making it look. I promise you that. I'm actually really, really talented. 100%. Why was that even there? I bet this is the right way to go. This is the right way to go. So far I haven't missed any of uh, the rare material, I don't think. So I'm gonna keep up with doing that to the very end. I'm just gonna try and grab that. It's a trap, though. I feel like if there's no real need for something, in a game like this, then it's either a, um, kind of a waste of design space, like that jetpack thing there, whatever you want to call it, or it's there to just trap you, I don't know which. I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt, though, I'm going to say it's there to trap you into thinking, oh, I could do that jump. Maybe you can do it somehow. They say he never found out. It was a lot less complicated than it had to be. Oh, not you. This one's already got 40 deaths on it. behind us now. I kid, of course. Oh boy, um... Can I make this easy stage look any harder? Yes, by doing it again. I 
The nice thing is the uh, hard to get him is out of the way right away. That's death right there. Don't do that. The missiles are also right at the beginning. We have to go back. My best time is a minute on this stage. My best time, which is certainly not this time, of course, but uh, it's not a good sign for the rest of this. There's still more to it. Alright, so I... yeah, here's, here's good. Missiles and the spinny turret thing, and more spikes. The spikes are just here, that's right. Well, we're on track this time to be my best time. Kill all the slimes. It's too close to the wall. Well, the end of this game's not going down without a fight. That is quite obvious at this point. Really sad, too, because I actually had to fight the final boss a lot for a, um, an achievement. There are nine of them in this game. So, uh, they'll actually go down quite easily compared to this, this abomination of a stage. I got this part down again pretty good, obviously. Got it down decently, at least. That part scares me every time, though. Speaking of which, I can't believe I actually ended up dying there. Finally happened. Finally happened, I died there. Things I'm not going to miss after this stage. Emus. Missiles. Spikes. Wait, no, there's plenty of those in the next mission.
the music is starting to get to me, though. Oh no, I've actually got to beat this on probably this try if I want to do this under an hour. Just looked at the clock. <laughs> Getting real close. It means I've been doing this mission for... Oh wow, a while. that part too fast, can't do it too slow, can't do it at all. I hope there's nothing horrible after that. I'm gonna have to kill more emus. does remind me of Super Meat Boy in a sense where uh, sometimes they, uh, when you're trying to do little minute adjustments to your jumps and stuff, uh, one little tap isn't enough. I'm just not focusing. zone now. But what zone? A friend of mine would argue Green Hill Zone, but uh, because he's always got Sonic on the brain. here. Yes! Oh. And then I died here because I forgot I had to do something special here. Alright, I just need to outrun this. And we're good. Um... I think I could beat the boss on my first try. Sadly, there's really not a whole lot to the bosses in this game. They exist, which is nice. But... This is attacks. Master these, and then you win. Also make a small mistake and you're done for. This bot only has one life after all. Fedor has been defeated. Robot Peace has been restored to the galaxy. Peace sign. Of course, all of this was done by um, our Daniel Spruce. Along with uh, several other names. Pixel Art was done by Sean. I didn't see his name in time, but a uh, small, uh, small team that did this. Very charming game. I enjoyed it very much, and uh, I was not angry at all. So, I hope you enjoyed watching that. Really, um, oh, I barely didn't do it under an hour. Anyway, I will be getting back to my Fire Emblem Let's Play, and hopefully starting something else. Maybe I'll do some, you know, 
one day I'll do this, and then I'll, I'll just switch, switch off every day, you know. Keep things interesting for me. And you guys, I don't know. That's sort of my plan for the moment. Anyway, enough of the rambling. I beat the game. Thanks for watching.